Yo, what's good, son? Welcome back to my channel. Nah, I mean, it's like, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not how I talk. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. I am Koyja Quay. If you are returning, thank you so much for all your love and your support on my last three videos and on this one as well. And if you are new, I thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and comment and add me on my social media accounts. One being uh, Snapchat at Koyja Quay and also on Instagram, Koyja Quay. Today, I am doing a review on Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil. This bottle cost me about, I would say roughly about $10 out of Walmart. I'm not sure if Target sells this. I would hope they do. And I'm not sure if the beauty supply stores sell this as well. But definitely, you can get this out of Walmart. I think that this product is awesome. So let me just take you back a little bit. Um, The reason why I am using this product is because in the past, I've used things for my face that I shouldn't have. One being lotion, body lotion at that. That was not working for my face. Why did I put that on my face? I have no idea. I've been using lotion for my face for years and now that I am an adult, I finally realized that that lotion is a no-no for your face. So I decided to go more of a natural route. I picked up some raw shea butter from out of the beauty supply store and I liked it. The only thing was it was very heavy on my face and it was very oily. It made my face very shiny to the point where I looked like a butterball leaving out the house to go to work. So I'm like, okay, there has to be another thing out there that I can use that will suit my face best. What's the next best option to use for my face at night and also during the day? I went to Walmart and I just happened to stumble upon this product. I find this little bottle that caught my eye. Now the bottle that I just showed you was the second bottle that I purchased out of Walmart. This is the first bottle that I purchased and this is the Coconut Oil Luminous Hydration Facial Oil. This coconut oil, it was very great. When you think of coconut oil, you think of just naturalness, you think of something that smells very good because coconut oil does smell very good. It left my face smelling very nice. Um, it had a light scent, not too overbearing. So when I went to bed at night, I didn't smell it all night. The only con I will say that I have for this is that it's extra oily for some reason. Now the cool thing about this bottle is that it has this little nozzle here or top or whatever driplet thing. I don't know how to say it, but um, it has this so it allows you to measure out how much you are putting on your face, whether you're putting it exactly on your face or in your hand. I would just do little driplets like here, 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 and I did get some oil on my scarf. Why? Why? <laughs> then I would just rub it on the palm of my, with the palm of my hand all around my face. And simple as that. And then I went off to bed. Or you can just simply drip it in your hand ooh, ooh, drip, it. <laughs> drip it in your hand and um yeah just go ahead and rub it and you can also use it for your hands too it's it's good if you have ashy knuckles and your hand is just looking a little rough there you can definitely use it this product i would definitely give it a thumbs up again if you are looking for another alternative to whatever you're using already for your face, I would definitely go for this. The only con that I do have, as I mentioned before, the bottle was about $10. It's a lot for a small bottle, but I think it's worth it, especially if you are very conservative with how much you are using for your face. So that's the only thing. I use mine during the day. Well, I use mine at night and in the morning for the day. I don't wear makeup when I go to work because I just think it's too much. It was making my face look very rough. I was getting a lot of pimples and blemishes. I am wearing makeup now. I only wear makeup like if I'm doing a video now or if I'm going out somewhere with my husband or with friends or if it's a special occasion. That's the only time I would wear makeup. But I just cut all ties with makeup as far as wearing it to work because I just thought it was pointless. I'm like, who am I trying to impress? 
I have my husband already. I'm not trying to impress nobody. When I do wear makeup, I definitely do put it on underneath my makeup. Now, I don't put it on and then I put the makeup on top. No. But when I get up in the morning, if I know I'm going to wear makeup, I make sure I wash my face very good. Then I apply the oil onto my face and I just let the oil seep into my skin. So by the time I'm ready to put on the makeup, my face is very luminous looking. It's very vibrant. It feels good. And then I just go ahead and place you know, the primer and all that good stuff on my face. I have acne, believe it or not, under this makeup. Yes, I have pimples. Yes, I have, you know, dark marks that I'm trying to still get rid of. But I, I just think this, this is not making it worse. It's just, I think it's actually helping because you need your face to be um, moisturized. You need it to be, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? You need it to be... I'm gonna just leave that moisturized. <laughs> if you are interested, go ahead and pick you up a bottle. And when you do, drop a comment and let me know how it is for you. I would love to know how you feel about the products that I have mentioned before and that I'm mentioning now. So that's all I have for you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, that's cool. I still like you. You can go ahead and give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave a comment in the comment box. And then also add me on Snapchat. I am at Quay. And also on Instagram, same name, Quay. I will see y'all soon. Bye.